Hi there and welcome back to Mega Corpse Incorporated. We're already at it. We're getting to the Tomb World habitability in case our friends here that are in the Renaissance age eliminate themselves by, I don't know, Renaissance bombs. And then we want to actually upgrade another species, the Gandlerev. They are really, really strong and we want to make them even better. That's our motivation. We also want to and get a little bit more out of our star bases that we've just founded, our new ones, and that's what we'll use the alloys for. And then we want to open up more branch offices. And Xuracorp wants to extend the deal of exotic gas, and very well, we wish to extend the deal and we won't alter it any further. Goodbye, the Xuracorp way. As you can see, we need more food, and that food will be then like in the planet somewhere, we have no idea where. The thing is, energy credits lose value really, really much. As you can see here, like it's a thorough inflation we have going. So energy credits added by us only basically by trade. Trade, as you can see, is trade and branch offices is where we get this thing from and stations a bit. So it's okay, but on the other hand, it's Focusing on energy credits isn't worth it, so we're focusing on other things. Let's see, the either of Mercury needs a job. Mm. I should probably use one of these. Volatile modes would be great. Mm. More housing for these people here would be great. Can we give them more housing? And sometimes it upgrades this, that's why I keep searching here. Because I'm playing the the beta version, beta beta. The thing is, this, this doesn't give much many jobs, so mm, I'm not sure. Uh, we need food, so that would be an option. Research is always nice, but look, wow, we have so much trade value here. I think a like, galactic stock exchange would be in order here. On the other hand, uh, no, that's so much trade value. Galactic stock exchange. Scaling complete. Megasun Mars finished its queue. It can grow still. Let's wait this out. Still a colony only though. Of course here. Good growth going, clerk jobs are going on. All things are kind of nice. Complete with Research naval capacity. Oh, nice. And everything at once. Tomb world adaptation. Through comprehensive study of irradiated environments, we will allow our settlers to colonize worlds that have been devastated by nuclear warfare. Interstellar expansion. <laughs> what? 72,000? No, no, not yet. I don't think we will. Habitability. Going up with habitability would be nice. In the long term. Biology. Also good. For the food. That and that. It's too early. Let's go for eco-integration studies. As long as Don Tyler Bonner is, is still so fit. Habitability will bring us something. It will bring us good. And, uh, but it doesn't need to be right now, so we'll design the Gamlerev now. Where do we have them? Here, so we've made them very strong workhorses for industrious and agrarian thing. And communal, so communal, agrarian, industrious, very strong. So that's the basic. 
So they can be very strong still. Where's very strong? Come on, give me that. Worker output plus 5%. Robust 5% from jobs. Mm. We could make them nerve stable. We're not gonna do that. We're not like that. The Gandlery. Very strong is good. Robust makes a lot of sense with these people. And then we can add industrious and intelligent if we want. Hmm, but not both. Not both anymore. Hmm, not industrious and intelligent. Industrious and agrarian. So we need to concentrate on one thing maybe with them. That would be fine. Let's see. Hmm. So the, the Gandarev, are they gonna be... I mean, they're fungoids. Starborn gives him a bit of head, a bit of ability. What's more important for us is definitely mining. So we'll make them industrious. The Gambler of Minor Species. After successfully changing all the robots to the happy bots, we'll now, we now have these people to be the miners. We'll apply the template to just about everyone. Situation log revised. And then, there's something available here. General corpse, sprawling cities, and isolated mining stations both have unique challenges associated with crime prevention. To expedite law enforcement, we have made the judicial process more efficient by combining the rules of judge, jury, and enforcer. Force reduce crime by an additional 20%. I mean, we get some on the habitats, so there will be no crime there, probably. So, Mega Earth, let's have a look there. What would we need on Mega Earth? We have a little bit of unemployment. We might need... Um, actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's have a look at this. Trade value and amenities. Galactic Stock Exchange. Why don't we have this here? Why don't we have this here? That's the question we need to ask. Upscaling complete. Nice. Ingolstadt has made that ready here. Good, good, good. Look, we're even gaining more energy credits right now through that trade change. Anchorage, Starhold, yeah, that's fine. And after that we can go... Yeah, we can actually go like that immediately here. Off-world trading company and then upgrade. After the Anchorage, there was something that had this as a requisite um, that was needed for that. Let's see, let's see. Nebula refinery, maybe not so much. Uh, 
I mean, that lies on a trade route. Ah. Uh, I don't want this anymore. I want trade hubs. Yeah, I want trade hubs. I want the next station here. Because there won't be a trade route. And then we can... Then we can do this better with the shipyard. Yeah, it's back to this, but that's not... That's not really bad. Maintenance cost of our military ships, that is minuscule. Gonna have good trade on these. And that's gonna be much better. Gunler of Miners we have now. Now we can see if we can change that up somewhere. Do we have some Gunler Rev here? Yeah, that would be nice to see if we can like fix up the workers. Ah! Ah! We have the specialists here. Let's look at the workers. The workers are just the workers, okay. Yeah, to to have that migration going will be interesting. Mars colony. It's gonna be good in time. Six pop already. And we're coming. We don't have robots here yet, though. We could start to have some, but I don't see the advantage at the moment. Recycling and healthcare. Yeah, that's the other thing. These things are really, really cheap. Good business. As you have. You find it. Nice. Serious habitat is established. That thing and... I mean, we could make trade. Trade habitats. That would be enough amenities, maybe. Try that out. Upscaling complete. Either of Mercury is fine. The full housing. And so many consumer goods. And oh yeah, we can look for another branch office. We have the Baderian Empire near, and NATO is in a terrible state. 25 we have here. How much is that? Ah, uh, that's, we cannot see that. It's terrible. What would we, my God. Just know, I guess, um, the Twaxeldars. That's crazy, yeah. Troidom, what is what is that? The Jogolwa? What are you? Oh, okay. Oh look at that. Well, that's lacking a lot of influence. Enthra's mandate could be another one. Why not? Have something here. And more research.
Upscaling complete. Nice. Fine, oh, look at this. Wow. Why haven't we done this before? John McCain also leveled up. That's a career step, right? Instead of, you know what? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Upscaling complete. Uh, so either of Mercury 2 and... That's rivalry is going down here. The Skeevin, are they strong still? I think they are, but they are also unfriendly. Advanced shields, and we have an uh, education campaign. Yeah, we'll pay for good education. An updated shield generator that produces an even stronger energy field. Only sustained enemy fire can penetrate this barrier. What next? Look at that. Wow. I'd really like to go face disruptors, and we even have got the bonus on that, so... That's fine. Let's disrupt their phases. That's just as long as we have some suitable offices nearby where we only have to go for like 50 influence or up to 100 maybe we'll go branch office from now for a little time upscaling complete and we'd really want to get the citadel technology too Offworld trading. Upscaling complete. Nice. Serious habitat is ready. We've got housing and we've got amenities. And we've got jobs coming then probably. Yeah, we've got a lot of jobs open. We can basically just wait on this. And look here. What unemployment. We, we might need more housing in time. Volatile modes. We've got so many alloys, we need to do something with them. Well, if everything goes bad, we'll sell them for food, right? For that look, Shugashi. Thirty-eight people. That's a twelve world. Mm. I'm not sure. Fifteen. That is a good world. That is not a good world. What's that here? Eighty nine. Um, 
but it could be worth it. You don't know. Shugashi is so limited, you know. But now is now, right? And it's very cheap. The branch is on. Research actualized. Synthetic personality matrix. Equipped with the personality, synthetics will finally be able to interact socially on equal terms with the rest of our citizens. Some units may even assume leadership roles. And now, uh, anything else, Sybil? Oh, ah. Citadel upgrade. And that cross model standardization. Let's go Citadel first. I feel that this this will be important, so don't have that many robots at the moment, so it's okay to delay that for a bit. Citadels though are gonna bring us more trade and more building slots and more defense possibly. And that might be needed, at least accrue some defense platforms to make it seem we are worth something militarily <laughs> to the AI so to avoid attacks on our federation that is the least we can do oh yeah looky looky around here something will be taken down yeah, we can watch that. Oh, there we go. Kaboom. Wow. You even got uh, purple, purple weapons now. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> the United Tepazuids. Look, they were equally strong, but what the Tepazuids do? Feathers of Brood. We have a. They have even hired a mercenary warrior, unhinged screamer flotilla. Upscaling complete. Pretty cool. You should have not finished the queue. Yeah, it's very good. Panaxala, yeah, I know, I know. You don't like our products. Still, you buy them. Alpha Centauri has that problem with housing. What to do about that? Don't want to take down districts. Don't want to take down the military purification. Or the synergy forum. We need that to grow. The robot assembly plan will not be needed anymore here I think so we can replace them now With luxury residences then we'll have open jobs but we can cure this when we upgrade the alloy mega forges or the research labs so there's that then we have Mars got jobs open Housing and amenities are good. We'd probably like some more food. And in Ingolstadt. Also got some trade value going. Galactic Stock Exchange won't hurt. Oh, 
all going to be fine in time. So many alloys, but when we start upgrading these into citadels, we will need all of the alloys we can we have. So there's that. Hey, our admiral Horatio Nelson has developed new skills. He's now an engineer too. Yeah, we've revived him, but he didn't like really turn out to be human prime. He's a little bit older. We have developed him, redeveloped him from scratch, and that shows. But he's okay. He's unrelenting, unyielding engineer. Anyway, thank you for watching, and happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Khan, signing out. In the next episode, what will we do? Probably go for another species modification, and then... Whatever very good technology we will get in the future. Have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Emmanuel Khan, signing out. Happy to have had you here, or however that means. Are you also human superior? I guess you are, because otherwise you wouldn't be watching.